Shalom everyone, it's called Torah, it's Parashat Va'era, the parasha that we will read this Shabbat. In this parasha, Moshe begins formally, Exodus, with the plagues and the drama and the warning and the back and forth with Pharaoh. The drama is really on stage. But today I would like to talk about something that happened last week and continues to happen in this week. And the idea or the concept is something that we need to try to understand and to explore. In last week's parasha, when Hashem told Moshe that he should go to Egypt and after Moshe argued with God for a while, he realized there is no any other choice. He needs to be the leader of the Jewish people. He goes back to his father-in-law to talk to his father-in-law about the fact that he is going to go back to Egypt. And it seems to be very strange. God told you, go now. The people are waiting for you. Exodus is waiting for Moshe. But Moshe puts it on hold and goes to talk to his father-in-law. What is the idea behind something like that? And our sage says that Moshe went to Yitro to ask for permission to leave and also to thank him for the hospitality. Now, obviously it's a little strange. The hospitality that Moshe was rewarding with was as a result of him helping the daughters of Yitro, saving them from the shepherds, watering their flock, helping them. According to our sages, no one would like to marry Yitro's daughter and Moshe married Zipporah. So, who needs to show gratefulness to whom? Yitro to Moshe or Moshe to Yitro? And even if we think that Moshe felt that he would like to say thank you to his father-in-law, you know, the Jewish people are waiting for you. They are still enslaved. They are waiting for their Redeemer to come. Why would you put everything on hold? Because you need to say thank you to your father-in-law. To strengthen the question, we see this in this parsha, in our parsha. Moshe does not bring the plague of the blood or frogs or even the lice. It's Aaron. And according to our sages, the reason for that is that Moshe felt gratitude to the Nile. And Moshe great, felt gratitude to the ground, to the earth. The Nile protected him when he was put in the basket. And the earth protected him to cover the Egyptian that he killed last week's Pasha. This sounds very strange. You feel thankful to items that are not a living beings, um, you, you feel gratitude to the Nile, to, to, to the earth, what does it mean? I think that the lesson and the message is tremendous. Sometimes we totally ignore and sometimes intentionally trying to be oblivious to people or even to items that helped us along the way. To be grateful is not just to say thank you politely. To be grateful is to realize and to understand and to internalize and to comprehend that the fact that I am here today, it's not only because of me. It's because of many people who helped me along the way. And you know what? It's sometimes even because of different items that by using them, I was able to get to where I wanted. To be grateful has no limits. To be grateful has no boundaries. And Moshe understands that without really imbuing that concept at, as the beginning of the redemption, the redemption will be meaningless. Moshe puts on hold all Exodus because he wants to teach us all for generations to come. You can't initiate a process without first and foremost being thankful to those who helped you to reach that point. Because being redeemed and then being out of Egypt and accepting the Torah, but if the Jews do not understand gratefulness and hakarat atov, to be grateful, the Torah will be meaningless because in a year or two, they will tell God, do we owe you something? Do I need to report to you? What Moshe is trying to say to us 
especially in modern society that, you know, the most important thing is what did you do to me, you know, a minute ago? It's not about a day ago, it's a minute ago. Or what are you going to do for me tomorrow? In such a society that it is so high demanding and sometimes so ungrateful, Moshe is trying to create a concept of gratefulness, of hakarat atov. And that's why he will go and ask his father-in-law for permission and he will not hit the Nile or the earth. It may sound extreme, but we all know that if we start dismissing small gestures of gratefulness, it will grow and gradually we will not be grateful at all. The Talmud says that kol hakofer betovato shel chavero besof kofer betovato shel makom, which means someone who is ungrateful to his friend will become ungrateful to God because that's what gradually happens. We need to teach ourselves and others about gratefulness. Not only the politeness in saying thank you, but the true meaning of thank you, which means I recognize the fact that you helped me and I am grateful to you. Being grateful is being mindful. Being grateful keeps us humble. Being grateful brings redemption. Thank you.